Hi, welcome back to my channel, Skill Set Go. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to provide a runtime values with using component builder in car component. We have created a power capacity method in car component, a builder, and we have created a method. We have kept bind instance and we're providing the power capacity. And we have seen how the integers are assigned to this power capacity and engine capacity. And in this tutorial, we will see what is the importance of at named annotation. Suppose in car component, we have created a method power capacity passing integer. Let's create one more method passing integer. Engine capacity. And we will provide the value for engine capacity also in main activity. We need to rebuild project to change the implementation of dagger car component. Because whenever the car component interface changes, its implementation dagger car component also changes. And here it is not allowing to declare a method with integer parameter because we have already a method which is taking an integer. So that's why it is not allowing an other engine capacity method which will take the integer. So now what is the problem with this? If you don't have another method, then every time a petrol engine creates, it will assign a same value to power capacity and engine capacity because it will take only one integer input in dependency graph. So how to assign a different values for power capacity and engine capacity? So let's go to car component. Let's have at named annotation and let's name this integer what we are passing power and let's name this integer as well named engine so now wherever we need this value we need to assign same annotation there as well let's go to petrol engine constructor here if you want to use the power value we need to use named and give that name power here we want to use engine and let's go to main activity here we are giving a value to power capacity let's rebuild this project So now integer cannot be provided without an inject constructor or provides annotated method. Saying here we are getting this error because we have petrol engine module. Using petrol engine module we are providing power capacity and engine capacity and we have marked at named annotation in constructor of petrol engine. So we no need to have this as arguments here. We can directly instantiate petrol engine here and return. We can remove arguments here and we can directly return because now dagger knows how to create a petrol engine. It will go to petrol engine. Then it will try to assign a value to power capacity and engine capacity. It will search a named integer with power and named integer with engine. And let's rebuild project now. Now the build is successful, let's go to main activity. So in this main activity, we are providing a value to power capacity, but we are not passing a value to engine capacity. Let's pass value to it, engine capacity 1000. And let's now run the project and see the output. We need to get power capacity as 300 and engine capacity as 1000. Before yet named annotation, we are getting a same value for power capacity and engine capacity as well. And here you can see the power capacity is 300 and engine capacity is 1000. As we have two different methods for two different integer named values. If you are not using at named, then for both power capacity and engine capacity, the same value will be used. So I hope you understand this concept of runtime 
injecting the values to the dependent objects please like share and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching in the next tutorial we have seen we will see an importance of at single turn annotation how to create a single instance every time so thank you for watching